morning. Oh man, the power of editing. When you're editing a video, you are basically the god of reality. And I try to keep it real with you guys, okay? But America's Got Talent, they use their powers for evil. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome to EMC Productions. My name is Eric, uploading one to three videos per week featuring epic drumming content. And not just chicken drumming, there's, you know, like other stuff too. I recently went on America's Got Talent as Drumstick the Chicken Drummer, and it was a very interesting experience to say the least. And it was honestly pretty cool, minus the fact that they edited out a lot of the actual drumming of my act. But before we get into that, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Okay, so here I have a video of my act spliced in with some rehearsal footage. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play it from the beginning, and when I'm on stage with America's Got Talent, that is what was shown on TV. And then when I'm in this rehearsal room, that is the stuff that was not shown on TV and got cut out of the act. Got it? Makes sense? Okay, good. Let's watch this. So all of this was cut out. <laughs> Woo! Yes! So basically all of the cool and hard drumming parts got trimmed out. Those audience boos. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there wasn't actually an audience even there. That was all edited in. Power of editing. You can do anything you want. Yeah, so that's where the judges stop the act, but uh, I just added this at the end so you can see what actually happens after that. Mmm! Ah, oh, beautiful. Everyone clap for me. Everyone clap. That was amazing. Yeah, so this whole act was uh, about 1 minute and 35-ish seconds, maybe slightly longer, and I went until 1 minute and 8 seconds. That's when Sophia pressed that last buzzer right there. And in the actual episode, my entire segment from beginning, like the interview, all the way to the end after I got off the stage, that was 3 minutes and 39 seconds. The act ended at... 2.32 and started at two minutes. So they trimmed out about 35 seconds of the act, which, I mean, it's reality TV, they got time slots and all that, I get it. But they chose to trim out, like, the coolest parts, like, all the really difficult drumming. They just left in, like, the kind of lame stuff that was on the chicken piano. And that's the power of editing, people, all right? You can make the narrative anything you want, all right? We're taking the real out of reality TV. All we got is the itty. And I knew that they could cut parts out of the act, okay? It was in the contract that I signed. And I know that that has happened to other people, like other YouTubers have talked about this kind of thing. So I was ready for it to happen, and it did happen, so by the time that it did happen, I was already over it, okay? Already over it. And I see a bunch of you asking in the comments of my other videos why I didn't just go as a serious act, like why did I do the chicken thing? And the answer is that that's what I had to do to get on the show. I sent in 10 separate audition tapes to America's Got Talent and they picked the chicken dance one. So if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't have gone at all. So I did that and I went. But even though they edited it to make it look like I kind of stunk at drumming and to make that comment from Heidi actually make a little bit of sense. If the drumming gets a little better. If the drumming gets a little better. If the drumming gets a little better. The rest of this audition video was actually pretty epic. Like this whole intro montage segment where I'm backstage drumming, talking during the interview, they show some stuff from the Commandant's own. This was freaking awesome. I love watching this part. Also, it was really, really hot in that interview room, and I was in there for probably about 45 minutes saying all this stuff. And yeah, I was sweating pretty profusely. <laughs> As you can see, my skin is like bright red. Oh man, fun times. But yeah, this turned out pretty cool. Then I go out on stage as the chicken and the judges are like, WTF is this? 
Hello, welcome, how are you? I am fan clucking tastic. Oh, funny story about that right there. So that was the first thing I said to the judges when I walked out, and it is really, really boomy in that room. Like, you can't tell from watching the show because of how they edit the sound. So the judges actually thought that I dropped the F-bomb right there. The clucking, they didn't hear clucking, they heard you know, something else. And Heidi actually said to me that you can't say that, this is a family show. And I was genuinely confused. I was like, did, did I not get the joke? Like, really? So that was super awkward and very confusing for everybody, but they edited it to make it look like it wasn't awkward and confusing. The power of editing was used for good right there. Good job, America's Got Talent. So then I did the act. I played about a minute and eight seconds of it. I hit no rims in any of the extended sweep patterns, but no one will ever know that because it all got cut out of the video. So my first buzzer from Simon actually came about 30 seconds into the act, and then the rest of them buzzed around one minute to one minute eight seconds into the act. Which, hey, they didn't like it. It's what it is. I did my best. I played epically, even though it doesn't look like it. So then I got my f feedback from the judges. It was kind of weird, and I didn't really know how to respond, so I just kind of stood there. And they didn't show this in the episode, but Howie told me that I was like Malik Dope, who competed in the show last year and actually did really well. He said I was like that, but gone horribly wrong. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. So then I gave my final cluck to Simon. But nice to meet you. <laughs> Terry Crews told me that I'm the hottest chicken that's not on a sandwich. And that was where the segment ended. There was actually another photo shoot after that, which they didn't show. And some of the other segments, you see the contestants actually walking out the front doors of the concert hall. Yeah, they had me like walk out with blue cocky here and I would just like walk out all pissed off and like throw him to the ground and then they zoomed in on him. And they had me do that a few different times and it was honestly kind of funny and I wish they showed that part. The whole time I was thinking like, man, it's a good thing I don't care at all that I just got cut from the show. Because this would be like super annoying trying to, you know, film this stuff if I was legitimately upset or pissed off about it. <laughs> and there were a few contestants there that were actually like pretty upset that all their hopes and dreams were crushed. So I'm sure they weren't too thrilled about having to still film and do work <laughs> after all that happened. But I kind of knew I was going to get buzzed going into it. Like this whole act was really ridiculous. So when it did happen, I was already over it already over it. It's good to be over it before it happens. That's my life advice. So that's what really happened behind the scenes on America's Got Talent. It was a very interesting experience, and even though they edited it kind of, you know, poorly to make me look bad, I still want to do it again, okay? I'm thinking of ideas for going out next year. I definitely want to do a masked guy solo, and I'll probably do a serious one as myself. I don't think I'm going to send in any audition tapes, like, as novelty acts or things that'll definitely get buzzed. I'm just going to keep it serious and keep it real this time. But if you have any further ideas for audition videos, please compose that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt, such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.